Hello and hi everyone. So um, in this video, we'll talk about intervals. But before that, uh, I would like to uh, touch a little bit about number line and orders just for the sake of reminding ourselves about few simple concepts and things. So uh, this straight line, this straight line represents real numbers and it contains it contains all natural numbers whole numbers integers rational numbers and also irrational numbers and each point on the line each point on the lines represent precisely one real numbers what does it mean by that so um, let's say we start with the zero the origin So, um, to the right side of the number line, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, up until infinity. And we also have number 1 here. We have 2, 2.1, 2.11, 2.12, etc., etc. And we also have 2.9, and then 3, 4, 5 etc., etc. And we also have the, the negative part, the negative part. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and so on and so on. And we also have the, uh, let's say we have pi. Pi is equal to approximately 3.14 something. So it should be like this way. So pi is approximately here and we also have set 2 set 2 is uh, approximately equal to 1.41 something so it should be this set 2 and we also have let's say we have negative pi negative pi is negative 3.3 three, negative 3.1 for something so it should be like here so this is negative pi and and we all we, we, we have all sorts of numbers here and what I want to highlight here is each and every point represents precisely one real numbers so that's what we call as number line here and what about the order the order must consist or must have three cases and the first one is what we call as when a is equal to b. So let's say we have two real numbers, a and b. So uh, for the first case is a is equal to b. And for the second one is a is less than b. And we also have the third case where a is greater than b. So what does it mean by a is equal to b? So let's say, for example, a is equal to 12. And, and, and we also can denote the equal sign here with, let's say, we have a is equal to b. And for, for a is less than b, the, the design is a less than b. And for the third case, is a greater, greater than b. So, um, for example, for the first case, let's say A takes the value of 12. So, what does it mean by A is equal to B? It means 12 is equal to 12. We have the same number here. What about the, the second one? So, we take the, 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 the same value, A is equal to 12. So, what does it mean by A is less than B? It means that 12 maybe less than 15 so b takes the value of 15 let's say greater any number that greater than 12 and for the, the the third one is let's say a still equal to 12 but now a is greater than b means 12 let's say greater than 7 that's what we call as the order so now let's move to the main point here the intervals
So when we talk about intervals, there are three things that I need to uh, highlight here. The first one is what we call as the, the end point of an interval. The end point of an interval. So, uh, and usually we denote it with A and B. So A and B are the endpoints of an interval. The second one is what we call, that we want to highlight here, is the, the, the types of bracket. We have two types of bracket. We have the box bracket and also, and also the, the round bracket. So either this way or this way, or this way, this way. And the third one, the third point, is the, the, the type of dots. We have two types of dots here. We have, the first one is either dense dot, dense dot, or, or empty dot. And this is, this, these two points here are very important that indicates, that will indicate whether the, the end points of any interval is included in the uh, in the interval itself or not so uh, let's say we ha we take the we have a look at this example here so the first one here the interval starts with a and b over here and the bracket here is the box bracket so what does it mean by the box bracket the box bracket means the interval in is included in the intervals so uh, in set notation, we can say that the interval a and b here takes the value any numbers. So let's say x takes the value from a and a is included and also ends with b where b is included. So we can represent these, these intervals like this. So let's say we have a and B over here so so the, the interval takes the value straight from A and A is included so we must have the the dense dot B also included so again the dense dot over here and it takes the value from A up to B all the values from A up to B. If we consider the, 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 the numbers are real numbers, the element of real numbers. Let's move on to the next one, the, the, the second one here. As you can say, as you can see here, the interval start with A and B, but with the round bracket over here. So what does it mean by the round bracket? It represents that the interval start with A, but, but the A is not included. So in set notation, any number from A but A is not included and it ends at B but B is not included. So we can represent this interval on our number line like this. So we have A and B as our endpoints but, but with the empty dot over here. So, and also at B, B does not include it as well. So, again, empty dot and the value takes from A and B, but A and B does not include it. And this one, what we call as the open interval. Open interval. And the first one, for the first one, if A and B, both endpoints are included in the, not in the, intervals we we say this as the closed intervals let's move on to the third type here so for this one as we can see here we have the the combination of box and round bracket so uh, what can we say about this interval so for, for, for this interval over here, it takes any value 
start from A, but A is not included. But B is included. So for this one, our interval start with A and B, but A is not included, but it ends at B. So this one is represented as the the empty bracket and for this one we have the dense dense dot sorry this one is empty dot and this one is the dense dot and it takes all the value from a up to b and for this one we call as the half open interval half open interval or some say as the half closed interval so uh, what about the the, the, the fourth the, the fourth one again this one as you can see is the half open interval because it's just the combination of box bracket and also the round bracket yet it differs somehow with the the, the, the third example where this interval this interval starts with a and a is included but b does not include it it's not included here so uh, we can represent this one as like this so a is included so dense dot over here and this one b is not included so empty dot over here it takes all the value from a up to b but b is not included and again, this one is half open interval. And then let's move on to the next one. This one is, yes, this is um, what we call as round bracket. This one also the round bracket. So this one is open interval. And in set notation, we can say that this interval takes from B so so this one any number any number that less than b so any number x that less than b but not include b so it start from it takes from b down to the negative infinity so uh, in our representation on number line here we have b as our endpoint we have b as our endpoint and it takes the value down to negative infinity down to negative infinity so it takes all the value start from b not include b all the way down to the negative infinity all the way to the left and what about this one this one is basically um almost the same with the the, the previous one but the oh i'm sorry about that this one should be should be the empty it should be empty dot here and for this one is the dance dot and then all the way down to negative infinity so this one is any number any number start from b down until negative infinity so it takes the x it takes the value from b and less than b and let's proceed for this one this one takes from a so n number from a up to infinity so any number that greater than a but does not include a so let's say we have a over here as our starting point so we have a we start with a up until infinity so it moved to the right hand side to the right side here and again this one for this one if you can see this this bracket over here this one is box bracket and this one is the round bracket therefore this one is half open half open interval and for this one if you can see here both endpoints uh, with the uh, round bracket so this one is open interval and for the last one here 
let's say we have this one we have the interval start with a and a is included and it takes all the values up until infinity so for our representation on our number line here we start with a and a with the dance dot over here up until positive infinity and this one again is half open half open intervals so um, I hope this video helps you in understanding the concept of intervals till next time bye bye